Hey guys, it's me, Lo here, and today we are going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I love these videos, but I don't want to make it too long for you guys, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about each product and not go into great detail about every single one. If you want a separate review on a specific product, just let me know down below in the comments. So first now, I just want to prime my face. I'm going to be using the Smashbox photo finish primerizer which is a primer and a moisturizer I'm super excited to test this out it felt so great on my hand so I'm just gonna do like two pumps a little of this does go a long way which is what I realized from swatching it in the store I'm just gonna dab it all over and this oh my goodness this feels so hydrating like, if you have dry skin like me all around the year, like the entire year, this will be your new favorite primer. You can just see how hydrating it is. It's definitely just making my skin tones a lot evener. It's super hydrating, like I said, a thousand times. It is expensive, though. It is $42, I believe. But this is incredibly lightweight doesn't feel like it's clogging up anything and I am excited to see how it works with my makeup and I only use like one and a half pumps the pumps pump out smaller than like a foundation pump would so it's really not a lot that I used so next I'm going to go in with the infallible total cover full coverage weightless feel foundation by L'Oreal so here's what it looks like so I'm going to go in with this. I'm in the shade 303 Nude Beige. This is supposed to be full coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to squirt a little bit on my hand. I don't really know how much. Ooh, she is thick. She is thick. Let me tell you. It's so thick. Like, I don't know. Like, there's, it's like pudding. Like, this is pudding. It feels like I'm putting on a clay mask right now. So I'm just going to use my NYX Professional Brush. It's one of my favorite for foundation. You guys already know that. And I am just going to start buffering this out. It's blending out really easily for how thick it is. So I'm impressed by that. It is doing a very nice job at covering everything. I it's covering like all my veins on my eyelids very well. So I am loving this already. And considering for how thick it was, it actually doesn't feel heavy. Which it says it's supposed to feel lightweight, but I thought it would feel so much heavier. It kind of feels like once you blend it out, it feels like I have nothing on. Which is weird because it's giving me a lot of coverage having nothing on so and it is buildable so I'm gonna be using the Fiona styles full coverage perfect finish concealer I got this when the Fiona styles went on sale at Ulta for 75% off and honestly I never heard of the brand before it went on sale so it comes in a pot so I'm in the shade 4 this is full cover Perfect Finish Concealer has 0.16 ounces so I'm just going to go ahead I think I'm just going to use my finger and like dab it on and then blend it out I think I'm just going to you know go in with it this concealer isn't much lighter than my skin tone so it's not going to highlight as much but it feels super creamy and really creamy I'm not a big fan of pot concealers, but we're going to test it out. So I'm just going to go ahead. Ooh. It is blending out very nicely. And it is covering almost everything. This might be one of the most underrated 
concealers because I've not heard like anything about this. It is it is covering you see it is covering like all my under eye. Now I have this. I've had this for a while. This is a hard candy baked bronzer. I got I got it like in a Christmas set at like Walmart. And to me this honestly looks like a highlight. Don't really see how this is a bronzer. I'll show you guys it. Dab it in there. I'm not really getting I'm getting a little bit of pigment. But not that much. But it is, I mean, it's pretty. It's not like my favorite thing in the world. I wish I had like a little bit more pigmentation almost. But just to bronze up the skin, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. Especially for the summertime, the glow is great for that. Next, we're going to do the highlight. I just got this in my Ulta haul. And man, is it gorgeous. This is the Master Chrome by Maybelline. I'm so excited. You guys don't even understand. This is so beautiful. I haven't tried it, but I have a feeling. <clears throat> Can't open it. Oh, God. Look at that. I've only swatched this for you guys. But I'm going to swatch it again. I got to find a spot. You guys see that? This bronzer is growing on me. I like it. I'm actually just gonna use my finger because why not? I want a highlight. Oh! That's insane highlight. I am obsessed. It's official. This highlight for $10. Hey, look at my little nose! It is beautiful. That, see you guys can see. that is gorgeous. Like that glow, that's gorgeous. But I did pick up this Bobbi Brown kit from TJ, not from TJ Maxx, from Marshalls, close enough. So this is what it comes with. It comes with the full size mascara, which itself is like $30. Comes with a two sided brush. It comes with the gel black eyeliner and this um, cream, long wear cream shadow. And this was $24.99, so this is a bargain for your buck. So if you're going to get the mascara and if you want the mascara for $30, bucks, you can get this whole kit for $5 cheaper and get three extra things. And I'm actually going to be using the cream shadow today as like my shadow. It's sparkly. Can you guys see that? It is very sparkly. It is super creamy. I am liking this. This is so pretty. It's so subtle. I think it'd be pretty almost like on top of a color. Because it doesn't have much pigment. Because it is just a nude kind of grayish tone but it is giving me such a pretty sparkle and so the other thing I'm going to use out of this pack is going to be the eyeliner so this is a gel eyeliner it is in caviar pink pink <laughs> it's in caviar ink and I actually am liking this it's very creamy Okay, so I just went and applied the eyeliner, and usually I don't like gel eyeliners because they're just more difficult to apply, but it was so easy to apply. Do you guys see that? It was so creamy. The brush tip was very nice. I really liked it. So next, we only have a few more things. I'm going to test out mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Very creative. I got to know a little sample at Ulta for like purchase or a gift with purchase if you know what I mean here's the brush so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on I do think it's adding a lot of volume but it's not 
is lengthening actually. It's not really clumping. It's very pigmented. It has a weird smell to a mascara. It has like a scent to it. It's not a bad scent, but it's interesting. Yeah, overall, it doesn't lengthen as much as I'd like it to. Lastly, I have lips. I'm just going to use the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color right here. I mentioned this also in my haul. This is in the shade 640 HD Embrace. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. It comes with a little Dofa applicator. Kind of like angled. This color is gorgeous. It smells good. It smells like vanilla. I really like it. It's so creamy. It doesn't feel heavy. And it's beautiful. So that is an A plus for me as well. And the lipstick is taking a little bit long to dry down. Like and lastly, I'm just don't have a new setting spray, but I do have this Mario Badescu primer. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it all over. Smells like I just walked into a floral shop. This is probably gonna be my new favorites because the price is like seven dollars for four ounces. Just gives it like a hydrating feel after you put on your makeup. I am loving it. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's kind of long, but thanks for sticking through it. And be sure to hit the sus- Ow. Ow. Okay, let's try that again. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It means so much to me. I'm posting three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So look forward to those. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.